Welcome to Daily News Update. I'm Petty Officer Latrice Sams, and these are your headlines from around the fleet. The U.S. Navy is scheduled to unveil a new maritime strategy this month that will address the demands of a globalized world. Top military planners and foreign experts have spent more than 16 months mapping out the new doctrine's final key concepts and principles. Vice Admiral John Morgan, Deputy Chief of Naval Operations, explains why developing the new strategy was vital to the future of the nation's sea power. You see, my friends, sea power endures, and it will continue to be the linchpin to address the needs of this nation while standing together with our other nations around the globe. We have one common goal, and that is stability and prosperity and the security of, of this world order and of our nation's vital interests. A budget to support the new maritime strategy and maintain high-end weapon systems needed to secure the nation's sea power was also closely examined. When the CNO talked about those three documents, the maritime strategy, the operational concept, and then the Navy strategic plan, I've always said that every budget is a strategy. Well, what we're trying to do is lend some strategic thinking into that budget formulation so the American people can understand why we need to do what we do and what we need to do what we do. Vice Admiral Morgan and his team of American and foreign experts will conduct another conversation with the country on the new strategy in November. The Navy Personnel Command has announced an update to the Selective Reenlistment Bonus Award levels. Sailors with critical skills and valuable experience can reenlist and receive award SRBs. For more information, see NAVADMIN 251-07. For the Naval Media Center, I'm Petty Officer Latrice Ames.